Hey, hope everybody's had a great holiday so far. The new year is right around the corner. Hope everybody's had a blessed week so far. That you're rejuvenated, that you're recharged. I just want to come on in for some words of encouragement. Um, I don't even know how to start this off, so I'm just going to be as real as I can get it. <clears throat> okay. If you get in your car and you drive, let's say you're driving from your house to your job. You have a destination. You're going to work. You may stop and you may get gas. You may stop and you may go to a friend's house or pick up a friend or pick up something from Walmart on your way to work, but you know you're going to work. Okay. Well, the same way your car gets you to work, you have a place to go. You have a choice. As a believer in Christ, you're going to heaven. You know that's your destination to go to heaven. You may stumble, you may fall, you may take a detour, but as long as you can still breathe, walk, talk, as long as your soul is still intact, as long as you have a desire to know and do better, you can get back on the path and keep going. Okay, example. <clears throat> Your top can go flat on your car. Okay? The same way as your top can go flat and you can go fix a flat or get a new tire. The same way, in the same instances, you can break a leg but you can still walk. <sighs> um, a few weeks back, <clears throat> my window was stuck in the down position. I had been riding with a paper bag over my window. I'm like, okay, it was frustrating. It was, you know, irritating to me, but it got fixed um, a few weeks ago. Now, if I never would have told you and you looked at my vehicle today, you can't even see where the window was messed up or what was going on. It's fixed. I know it may sound jumbled, <clears throat> but in the same way, you can fix a car tire. You can fix the window. God is saying, the same way you can break a leg, you can break a long arm. You can still learn to write with the other one. He can still use you through your sins. He can still use, you can still be used. As long as your soul is still hungry for him. He can still use you past your sins, past your disappointments, past your failures, past your doubts, past your worries, past your insecurities. Past your heartache, past your unforgiveness. It's nothing that God cannot fix. The same way you put your car in the shop and get your tire repaired and get your window fixed and it looks brand new. The same way God can make you over and He can cleanse you. He can cleanse you. And when He cleans you, people will not even see where the blemish was. He can cleanse you. He can cleanse you. <clears throat> he can fix you. If you allow him to operate and let him be the mechanic on you, fix whatever's broken, whatever needs to be healed, you can ask him by faith. And he, if it's in his will, and he, it is, it's in his will that you be well, that your soul be well, that your spirit be well. That you that your that your health be well. It's in his will. So if you ask in his will. And you have faith that he can. Like you have faith in the mechanic that they can fix your car and your window. Have faith that God can fix you in your sin. And you will be well. <laughs> but yeah. I know it sounds jumbled up. But I just want to come on and let you know that I am well. Even when my spirit is down. I can hurt just like everybody. I'm down just like everybody. I'm torn just like everybody. I do not exalt myself. And when I feel myself exalting myself, I say, Lord, humble me. I don't want to be exalted. But I say this. I smile because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I smile because my happiness is not in this world. It's not earthly. My joy is not determined if it rains, if it snows, if it's sunshine, if the wind blows too fast, if my house gets knocked down. That doesn't determine my joy because my joy comes from my Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit that dwells in me. So when you see me smile, I may be going through the worst of circumstances, but my joy is in the Lord. <coughs> 
But I just want to say, all is well. Have faith that God can recover anything you've lost, any hurt place, any down place, any broken place. He can. Everything you've lost. I've lost family. I've lost a mom. I've lost uncles. I've lost loved ones close to my heart. I've lost people I thought that was close to me, friendships that was broken, and he is still restoring me. He is still giving me a reason to smile. He's still giving me a reason to have joy. He's still giving me a reason to keep encouraging, to keep loving, to keep trusting, to keep being kind, to keep being nice. And you can too. You can. In Jesus, you can. So I just want to encourage anybody, and I hope you all have a blessed week going into this new year. I hope you have a great new year. And yes, this is not a scripted YouTube video. It should come from the heart. And I just hope it is a blessing to somebody. If it bless you, then God gets the glory. It is it's his glory anyway. It's not Aaron. It's our God. And I am a proud Christian. Of, I believe in Jesus. <laughs> So yes, y'all have a great night and be blessed and love you.